Praised by critics and the Hollywood elite, Jordan Peele has quickly made a name for himself as a brilliant filmmaker, but also has garnered praise for bringing diversity to cinema. Each of his films having focused on African American characters and the quote unquote black experience. More incredible though is that he has garnered a loyal following amongst filmgoers as well, with his movies receiving some mixed response here or there from average audiences, with those not in favor of Peel often being so due to some of his more abstract ideas and methods of storytelling on film. Nevertheless, Peel continues to stand out as a film director, and despite Hollywood praise, it has more to do with his effective and riveting filmmaking than a woke agenda. Nope. Jordan Peele's third film as director stars Daniel Kaluuya as Otis O.J. Haywood Jr. and Kiki Palmer as his sister Emerald Haywood, the great-great-great-grandchildren of the unnamed horsemen in the first ever moving picture. The Haywoods are the owners of Haywood Hollywood Horses, the first black-owned ranch in Hollywood where they tame and raise horses for Hollywood productions. With O.J. having inherited the ranch after an accident claims their father's life, while attempting to wrangle a wayward horse one night, O.J. witnesses something impossible in the sky. Down on their luck and unable to afford maintaining the ranch on their own, O.J. and Emerald set out to obtain unequivocal proof of something extraterrestrial hovering over their ranch. All of Peel's works thus far have had abstract qualities, and as Hollywood is quick to note, they all focus on black characters. But Peel's films, including Nope, are full of universal messages as well, relatable to all audiences. Nope may have some divisive reactions amongst audiences, much as Peel's last film Us did for similar reasons. Ideas and plot points aren't always spelled out in broken dialogue or unnecessary exposition. Critics praised Cronenberg's film Crimes of the Future, which we reviewed last week, but despite his bloated nonsense, there was no true substance to be found amongst the so-called abstract art. Peel takes bizarre and abstract visuals and lets the set piece and camera tell the story. From OJ and Emerald's past raising horses to the flashes of Gordy's Home, a 90s style sitcom side plot that features flashbacks to a gruesome event, Peel's themes of nature being untamable resonate subtly and clearly throughout the movie. Key points of dialogue and scenes throughout the film builds the overall story and themes, making Nope a fun, straightforward story on its own, but one rich with symbolism throughout, with plenty to pick up on on a second viewing. While some of the otter elements won't gel with all audiences, I personally felt Peel balances the film well. Amongst even the strangest moments, Peel knows when to add humor or tension to avoid becoming too weird or laughable. A lot of this falls upon how well written and relatable the characters feel. With humor dispersed throughout, driven by each of their characters being real and unique, with solid performances from Kaluuya, Palmer, and even newcomer Brandon Perea, who plays a Fry's Electronics employee yet quickly becomes a standout fan favorite. With tight and clever writing, well-acted and well-crafted scenes that all build and comes together in a different and unique way, Nope stands out amongst extraterrestrial sci-fi films. There's a healthy blend of some of Hollywood's best extraterrestrial films, such as Close Encounters, Signs, War of the Worlds, and many more. And yet amongst the familiar, Peel makes this story his own. Throughout the film, it's clear to see Jordan Peele loves cinema and filmmaking. From how he displays Hollywood, making fun of it in many ways, yet takes care to showcase the technical brilliance behind even the laughable parts of the industry. Nope is a clever love letter to filmmaking and alien suspense films, while being uniquely Jordan Peele. Jordan Peele proves that the best way to bring diversity to the industry is to tell a story all audiences can enjoy. I give Nope 3 out of 4 stars. <laughs>